Wait a minute. Pa, are you telling me that you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? Hey guys, Brad M73 here. Welcome back to another episode of the uh, Eagle Moss Presents Build Back to the Future DeLorean. We're going to be doing issue 90. Um, hopefully it won't take too long. Uh, we've got some car parts, obviously, uh, some piping. And it looks like we're going to basically just be putting um, some additional pieces onto the uh, engine cover, which is right here and then I think we'll actually be in like permanently installing the engine cover is that right yes okay um, bear necessities they talk about the bear that they used in the movie and then Eastwood uh, Ravine just talks about why it's named Eastwood Ravine. Um, the next issue, <clears throat> issue 91, uh, we've got like the engine cover and a couple other bits. Uh, looks like there's an LED that comes into the back. Uh, this is going to be the issue where we actually join the top and bottom parts of the car together permanently. Now, I still have some uh, mods coming from uh, Corey and Chloe. Um, I've got the EL wire mod. I'm hoping that that gets here by the end of this week, and it's it's coming up to the end of June of 2019. So I'm hoping. I know it shipped out last week. Uh, so hopefully, you know, you know, I think it went out on the 20th or 21st, maybe. And uh, so I'm hoping that it gets here within the next few days. Um, but you know, U.S. Customs and all that good stuff. Uh, so I, I know things like the, these top LEDs, and I think there's some other wiring maybe that goes into the front. I don't know exactly how the kit, um, you know, is designed to work. But I think these are going to have to come out. So I might have to wait until those parts come in to do that. And I think I probably will wait, but um, I don't know. I'll just have to wait and see. All right, well, let's get started so we've got our parts here. And hopefully this won't take too long. But yeah, I, I am, I have to say, I am very much looking forward. Oh, excuse me. Just drank some coffee, so I kind of, I was hiccupy before. Um, I'm really looking forward to, you know, joining the top and bottom and kind of, you know, getting the car slowly finished. Um, so definitely looking forward to that. All right, so I've got the little spring piece here. There's a tiny spring. Let's see if I can magnetize. Okay, so that's magnetized. And then I also have this little tiny latch here, which I think the spring kind of goes onto this latch. Whoa, it's really tiny. Okay, so that's on there. And then this fits down in here. There's there's kind of a little hole at this end. The long protrusion goes down into the hole with the spring kind of pointing inward so that it, you know, provides like a little springy latch bit there. So, let's see. Step 3, ensure the spring fits into the position as shown, which it does. And then hold 90D in place with tab 90F and two QM screws. So I'm going to guess that this kind of, whoops, that this little piece here is 90F. And that's just going to sit on there like that. And then, whoops, uh-oh. And it, they all just fell out again. Oh, I guess it would because it's got that little um, I'm gonna say a button but it's not really a button I guess it is kind of a button because once this is on there you'll push down on that which should pop the latch open to allow you to raise up the hood I'm guessing 
And this piece is, appears to be plastic. Okay, so that, that's on there. We need QM screws. Now these guys are pretty small. Uh, when these things are all black, it's it makes them a lot more difficult to see. And I'll tell you what, guys, I've real like this year. I've really started to notice as I am growing old, <laughs> unfortunately, I've really started to notice that my eyesight is not what it used to be, especially close up. Okay. Now these don't feel like they're even trying to go in. Gosh. Um. There is no way. You know what's weird is some of these QM screws look wider than others A again unless my eyesight's starting to go <laughs> which is definitely a possibility um yeah like this one looks this one looks narrower all right i tell you what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take the little latch piece out and I'm going to set this flat if I can't. Oh, there we go. I mean, they're like this doesn't even go in at all. And I'm just I'm just trying to kind of tap this hole with the screw. Ah. And I mean it barely goes in there. Maybe like a sixteenth of an inch, maybe like two millimeters. What I might end up needing to do is get my Dremel tool out and actually cut just, you know, maybe, a, you know, two millimeters or so off the end of the screw. Um, I need to need some extra magnetism here. I can't even feel, I can't even feel where the threads are. That is so weird.
And I don't really have, I don't think I've really got like a screw or not a screw, but like a, like a drill bit or something that I can use to widen out. I, I just don't think I've got one that small. All right. Let's see, where is my Dremel? Uh, I don't have a cutting bit on it, do I? How am I going to do this? Um, Here we go. This is not this is not really the way I would normally do this. I would look for my cutting bit, but I have no clue where to even begin to look. <laughs> All right, let's see if this is short enough. I don't think I really took off that much material, but um, we'll see. It's going to be close. Alright, so I'm going to try to put that back in, we'll rotate this around. And I'm gonna put this underneath here just to kind of support it. It's still super loose. I'm gonna have to cut both of these. So we're gonna have to go shorter, okay. this see if this works yeah that works so let's pull do I hear rain on the roof it's been like raining off and on. I think last, I think I mentioned it in early, earlier videos. Like last week we got like 10 inches of rain in, in like three or four days. It was freaking crazy. And I know it's supposed to be kind of raining on and off today as well, but not, not that much. Yeah, that's got to be rain because I don't have the air conditioner on. Okay. All this work for this these two tiny little screws. I honestly, guys, I did not think that we would be spending this much time on this. I 
fully expected this to be finished by now. Um, deck on it. So I don't want to break this piece. Yeah, so see, this is like a little latch. So when we're up here, we just have to kind of push in on that and it'll unclip and we can raise it up. So that's why I have this little spacer in there so that, um, you know, or underneath here, this little nail file so that I don't damage it. All right, I think that's about as good as it's going to get. But it's, you know, it's secure in there and it's not moving. Okay, so on the other side, ensure the pin fits through the hole as shown. All right, which it does. Moving on. And again, this is not the bit that I would normally use, but um, sometimes you just have to improvise. Okay, next we have this piece which is oriented with, there's like a pin here, the hole, the square hole on the top. And it's gonna be oriented like this, according to the picture. And then we have, we have to put this in here uh, with parts 90A and 90B oriented, oriented as shown. Push 90A onto 90B. This slides down like so. Okay. And then we have this piece, which apparently goes on like this. And I think we're gonna need the car for the next bit. And we do. So it's gonna fit It's going to fit in these two holes here with AP, wait, with AP screws, is that plastic? Oh, that is plastic. Okay, so I'm going to disappoint you guys and I am going to put this in and hopefully you guys might be able to see this, I don't know, but I kind of have to do it from this angle. Is this going to work? Are these the good AP screw? Oh, these are the good ones. Okay. Now I think I can put, oh man, this is dark in here. I think I can put this in. And then, okay, so it's going to be like this. No. Wait a second, how does this fit? So it's gonna be like this. Is that right? Yes. All right, so I think I can hook one of these sides here. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, maybe not. So I'm just gonna unscrew this about a half a turn maybe. Just enough to loosen it up so that we can fit this and clip it into place. Like that, okay, cool. Now, 
one more AP screw and we will screw that down. Now the next issue, 91, that might be like a super ultra mega issue and it might be a very long episode because we've got basically all of the electrical connections between the car or the, you know, the, the top part and the bottom part and the, you know, the circuit board. So that's going to take, I'm going to guess at least an hour. Plus we've got like some, you know, engine parts to screw in as well. All right. So that is in. Now we've got, we actually have to put this on with the two QM screws. So we'll, up oh, and then this clips into place. Okay. All right. So we need four QM screws. We've got those right here. Ah, I just punched the front of the Millennium Falcon, <laughs> which I definitely need to finish up one day. And of course, these QM screws go right in, no problem. Maybe. Is that? See, I don't think these are seating all the way either. Yeah, that's definitely not going to work. What about the old? The old Millennium Falcon screwdriver. Will that work? I can't tell if that's going down. Ah, I, I just can't, I can't feel it. Okay, mm. two more of these on the other side. It's like they go, they go in great at first and then they, they just want to stop. It's almost like these QM screws are slightly too long. It doesn't help that the you know the car is constantly tilting man yeah I mean it literally just feels like these are just a tad too long Okay, that one's in. It's it's like if I back them out just a tad and then screw them down again, they go it's like it goes in a little bit further each time. Okay. Okay, that's down. So now We have the hinge. So next, we're gonna have to put this piece in, which I think we're gonna have to flip the car over to do. So let's see, I've got, I've 
I've got my towel here, so let me get that. And so is this going to use a QM screw? Yes. Great. Okay. And basically what this plastic piece is supposed to do, switch it around so maybe you guys can see a little bit better. And it, yeah, I still don't think that that one side, yeah, I'll have to play around with these screws a little bit more on the hinges. I have to screw around with the screws, right? <laughs> So basically what this plastic piece does is it allows there to, it basically has like a notch in it so that when you open this up, or not, oh there we go, it'll stay up, but <laughs> apparently not very much, okay. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, I can kind of tell. Yeah, that one's not going to work. Hmm. I wish I had my small version of this screwdriver because I think that that would work. And I don't see it sitting up here. Oh, we have this little guy. I wonder if this one works. See, I don't think this one worked with the QM screws. No, it doesn't. Oh wait, is this it? No, it's the flathead. <sighs> yeah, I can definitely tell that this side actually over here is good. This one is not all the way in. Oh, that's better. Okay, that's that's much better. All right, I'm gonna call that finished. I might I might tool around with it a little bit more, but I think for the most part <laughs> I'm gonna be done. All right, so we've got two more AP screws here. So we've got this bit and this bit. I think does that look like the picture? Yes, it does. I don't know why they couldn't make this out of one part. I guess maybe just because of the way that it would pull from the mold. What did I just do with my other screwdriver? Did I set it? Nope. No. What did I do with it? Oh, here it is. <laughs> I really was not expecting this issue to take this long. I, I really thought that those QM screws would go in and we wouldn't have any problems. I'll have to fast or you know kind of fast forward through the little dremely bits here. All right. So there's that, and then this and this apparently goes something like this. I guess we'll be able to, 
adjust that later on. Get last AP screw here. And if I had to guess, I'm gonna guess that this is, you know, gonna fit in on the engine somehow. And um, yeah, <laughs> and that'll be that. I don't know, let's see. This is how the upper keep assembled parts in a safe place. You'll need them in the next stage. So yeah, I guess we'll just be um, installing. Fit the upper amp, okay. I still, I can't believe that this only opens that much. Like I, I would have thought that it would be way more open than that unless, no, I don't have the piece upside, upside down. I don't know, beggars can't be choosers. Probably never gonna open it anyway. But just in case, I'll, I'll kind of do, you know, give it a once over afterwards, after, um, I'm done filming here. Let's see, what is this? DM, that is a DM screw in there. Okay, well, I will do some cleanup here and mentally prepare myself for the next issue. Um, again, we have uh, the DMC engine covers. Uh, I'm not sure what these two pieces are. This, I think, is tape, because these, well, there's an LED. That, I don't know if this is the LED for the reactor that will eventually fit on the top. It might be, it might not be, I don't know. Bunch of screws, and then there's literally like all the electrical connections, which is going to be a lot of stuff. So we've got that coming up in issue 91. Um, after that, we will basically start, I think, on the rear of the car and then the front of the car doing the headlights and things like that. So... Here in the next couple of weeks, the t you know, it's going to start looking like a f pretty much finished car, except for, you know, all the the lighting and then the the reactor components that are going to go on this, which I think is probably like, you know, issues 110 to 120 or something. I don't know. It's going to be in that that range. So, I guess that's what we're going to be doing, you know, over the fall, you know, like in the fall, and then. Um, the last four issues, I think it's, I think around 126 is when the car is pretty much done. And then you move on to like the little extra bits, like the plutonium package and stuff like that. So pretty cool stuff, guys. Well, that's going to be it for me. I will see you guys back for issue 91. In the meantime, please don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed hanging out with me, um, watching me frustrating. Whoops, I'm shaking my tripod here. Um, frustratingly uh, dealing with those QM screws. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know if you had the same issue on your build. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe for this and many more videos. I am Brad M73. I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.